I have just found the world's wildest festival. <laughs> Celebrate something that half of the world has a penis. They have a huge black penis, a huge pink penis, and thousands of small ones. People literally come to the city to worship them and get blessed by a priest. As an outsider looking in, this festival looks crazy, but it's actually much deeper than that. In Japan, I found a festival called Kanemara. It happens every single year. When I entered the festival, I was greeted by this guy. People were marching down the street, chanting while holding up huge sculptures. And penises were everywhere. Ones you can wear, ones that can whistle, even ones that you can eat, literally. But the one that stood out the most is huge and pink. It represents the LGBTQ people of Japan. There is even an art competition where people transform vegetables into penises. Art really does come in all shapes and sizes. Many tourists even come to take photos because for us outsiders, this festival seems like a fun place to visit. But the reality for many of the people in Japan is very different. For them, this is not a joke. It's a sacred festival where people and even families come to celebrate life. So now, I'm going to give you a child. And 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 this video is actually about a much bigger issue. You see, for the past 20 years, Japan's population has been decreasing. The Japanese simply don't have enough sex and enough babies. And this can be a serious problem for the people and for the economy. In a country where people aren't having enough sex, maybe a world's wildest festival like this isn't such a bad idea. <laughs> Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video about the Japanese penis festival. It blew my mind. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. And as always, I hit a secret egg somewhere in the video. Find it, take a screenshot, and send it to my Instagram. And I'll send you a secret motivational message. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>